Hey everybody, welcome back. We're still going through the foundations course. We're on HTML foundations and now we're going to go look at elements and tags. Okay, HTML, hypertext markup language, defines the structure and content of web pages. We use HTML elements to create all the paragraphs, headings, lists, images, and links that make up a typical web page. In this lesson, we will explore how HTML elements work. Lesson overview. The section contains a general overview of topics that you will learn in this lesson. Explain what HTML tags are. Explain what HTML elements are. Elements and tags. Almost all elements on an HTML page are just pieces of content wrapped opening and closing HTML tags. Opening tags tell the browser this is the start of an HTML element. They are comprised of keyword enclosed in angle brackets. For example, an opening paragraph has looks like this, a P, with, within brackets. Closing tags tell your browser that the element ends. Those are almost the same as opening tags. The only difference is that they have a forward slash before the keyword. For example, a closing paragraph tag looks like this, forward slash P. A full paragraph element looks like this. So it has an opening tag, some content within them, and then a closing tag. You can think of elements <clears throat> as containers for content. The opening and closing tags tell the browser that the content t uh, that the, the element contains. The browser can then use that information to determine how it should interpret the format of the content. There are some HTML elements that do not have closing tags. These are known as empty elements because they don't wrap any content. They will encounter a few of these in later lessons, but for the most part, elements will have both opening and closing tags. HTML has a vast list of predefined tags. Uh, you, can use, <clears throat> you can use to create all kinds of different elements. And if we look at the vast list of predefined tabs, you'll see that there is a quite a large list, many of which I'm not even familiar with. Details. Never really seen that one before. Marquee. Have no idea what that is. Okay. <clears throat> uh, using the correct tags can have a big impact on two aspects of your site. How they are ranked in search engines and how accessible they are to users who rely on assistive technologies like screen readers to use the internet. So this would be, for example, people who are deaf or people who are blind. So using correct elements for content is called semantic HTML. We will explore this much more in greater length. So then there's this video here. Um, I've already watched it, and so I'm not going to hey, watch it on this video. Hey, welcome to my channel. My but I'll just fast forward it for you guys now. My name is Kevin, and this channel is devoted to helping people learn. Great day until next time. Cool. That was a good video. <clears throat> Knowledge check. What is an HTML tag? An HTML tag is an opening bracket and a closing bracket, I suppose. What are the three parts? The opening bracket, the element, and the closing bracket. I guess I should say the opening tag, the content, and the closing tag. Cool. And that's pretty much it for this one. So this was a real quick one. Elements and tags. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.